Resisted band adduction, this is going to work on a little bit of a single leg balance position. So starting off, I have the band attached over here, kind of at something low, table leg, uh, bottom of the door. And then I'm going to be working on this leg that doesn't have the band on it. So I'm going to have the post in the hand opposite of the leg that I'm standing on, or the same side as the band, that side has the post. And I want to start off here thinking about making sure I keep a little tension in my stomach so my back doesn't arch. Right? And I want to keep my shoulders square. So typically with this band, because it's pulling me this way, I'm going to want to shift this way. And that's going to just counterbalance me so that I don't really have to use the muscles in my leg. So I want to use this post. So if anything, I'm kind of leaning a little towards this post side, pressing down into the ground, which helps me keep tension in my stomach and helps keep me centered. And from here, I'm going to just start to slowly pull this leg in front. And with this motion, I'm going as far as I can. Once my foot crosses midline, I can let my head go the other way a little bit. And then as I come back out, I'm trying to keep shoulders and head square as I let that leg be pulled out to the side. It's a very slow and controlled motion. If anything, this leg that I'm standing on, I feel like I'm pressing that big toe into the floor to support the arch of my foot to stop me from being pulled into this collapse of my arch and my knee inward. And I'm just slowly transitioning as I cross. I let my head go a little bit opposite of my foot. And then as I come back out, I come back to center and I stay there as the foot goes out to the side. Now, the other thing that's worth mentioning is this counter rotation that I want to progress to. So if that's going okay, relying a little less on the post, I want to see if as my foot comes across, can I take my arm across so that my resistance with the foot and my hand are coming towards each other and then they're moving away from each other. This counter rotation is similar to something that you would do with running or walking. And then as I get better at it, I want to see, well, maybe can I start to get away from this post altogether? So, put that on the ground. It's going to be the same idea here. I try and keep this centered position. I'm slowly bringing this across as my hand reaches over. And then I'm slowly coming back out to the side. So really, this foot and this hand move away from each other and then move back towards each other. Going quickly makes it much easier, right? I want to make sure I do it in a slow, controlled manner so I can think about the stuff that I'm using as I'm moving through this motion. This is really going to work my adductor, and you'll feel this even burn through the arch of your foot as you're using that stability, pressing your big toe into the floor. And just so you can see what I'm talking about, I'm not scrunching my toes like this. It's just a little light pressure into the pad of my toe, and you can see that my arch raises up off the floor. So that grip really helps me to be more stable and resist my arch wanting to collapse in. So it's that little bit of a press. You can see it pulls my knee a little subtly outward. So as I come across, I have more control on the inside of my leg as I go through this motion.